My name is Daniel Brooks, and I'm an origami artist. I worked for a clothing company uh, and uh, I was on a break in the break room and I, a client, a co-worker of mine, um, Mrs. Harada, was folding these cranes very, very fast, I mean almost robot-like. And I was so intrigued with it uh, that I just stood there and uh, was watching her fold these cranes. I thought, oh my God, this is beautiful. So I said, Mrs. Harada, will you te teach me how to do this? And she looked at me and she goes, tomorrow you bring your own paper. And I said, all right. And I did, and that was the beginning. I only do cranes and kimonos because of the symbols of what they stand for. A crane means a long and happy life and a kimono is prosper in work. And I love those two symbols, and I love when I put my energy into those pieces and someone buys them, I feel like I'm contributing uh, that to their lives. My inner framework has to be totally calm, and I can't have any uh, resentment, any anger, uh, any mean thoughts about someone, and I, create my pieces in total silence. Would pe that shocks people. They think I should have music, or they think you know I should have some kind of static noise, the TV. But I work best in total, total silence. And I work downstairs, and my windows have all of these different shades of green, and I feel very, very lucky. And uh, that's how I create some of my uh, beautiful pieces. Uh, when you see my pieces, the cranes are either going diagonally or up, meaning towards heaven. Very few, I don't want to say I've never done it, but very few pieces are the cranes going downward. This particular piece came from a dear friend of mine in San Francisco. He had a second home there, which he sold. And when he was cleaning up and moving all his stuff, this fell from the rafters of the garage and it hit the ground and he was looking at it thinking, oh my God, a newspaper from 1938. Of course, the San Francisco Examiner does not exist anymore, but um, he was uh, thinking, you know, who can I give this to or who can do something with this to preserve it? And he thought of me. When I was going through the paper, I flipped the pages up and they would disintegrate right in front of me. It was the weirdest thing. And there were three pages that didn't uh, fall apart. So from those three pages, I did this piece and I love it because it has the green in it. And then I did a piece and I gave it to the friend who gave me the paper. This specific piece uh, I did when we bought the house. Uh, some of this paper does not exist anymore. Uh, and it was at the time the largest piece I'd ever done. And my friend Stuart said, if you ever sell this house, this piece has to go with it. Um, it's a flock of birds flying over the flag of Japan up towards heaven and I love it so much. 